Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my shop mustache. I'm going to be going through the products I used last week and what I thought of them. And we'll be picking new products to use this week. How was your week? I feel like lately time's going by super, super fast. Like it's Friday already. Like it's crazy. And yeah, I just feel like time's going by super fast. So if you love shop mustache videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product I had here for the past week was this Joa Beauty Selfie Ready Setting Spray. This is in my project pan and there is not that much product in here. This just is going to live in here. I'm going to keep working on that and I feel like it does a super good job to mattify my skin. Um, for foundation this week I used the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I have the shade G Plus 40. I do enjoy it. It evens out my skin. It has pretty much like medium coverage. I don't build up foundation to full coverage just because I just don't want a full coverage foundation for everyday use especially with masks and stuff it's transferring onto my mask what's the point you know what i mean so i do enjoy it i think it has pretty good coverage and i think it looks super nice on my skin so we are going to pick a new one for the week for mascara this week i had the benefit bad gal bang mascara i like this formula i think it's really nice i wish the wand was a little different but overall i do enjoy this mascara also did use my Fenty Beauty Fussy Gloss Balm Lippy. I really like the formula. I think it's really nice. Also did use this Dose of Colors Extra Saucy Matte Liquid Lipstick. Super, super pretty. I used this in my Partners in Cream Project Pan update. I also did have this brow pencil for the week. The Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. Um, I think it's it does a good job. Um, this is in a Project Pan. These two liners were part of this video you guys know i enjoy these liners i pick them in every single shop my stash video definitely i love the la girl ones um i picked up the ardent Yins when they had like 70 percent off site white they work super well but if you're looking for something from like ulta or something i definitely recommend the la girl ones and i also do use the lip liners as liners in my waterline as well all everything else in there is project pan or stuff i didn't use this past week um this is the besame Brightening Vanilla Powder in Translucent. It actually has a really nice scent. It does smell like vanilla. I don't feel like this makes my makeup or foundation long lasting, but it does make my makeup look nice for a few hours. I think it looks nice. Um, I do like it. I kind of want to put this in a future project pan because there's not like that much product in here. This primer I really enjoy. This is a Clarins SOS primer. This is the peach one. Um, it's supposed to blur imperfections and it definitely smooths my skin and makes my skin look nice for foundation. So definitely enjoy that. This concealer by Smashbox is the Studio Skin Flawless Concealer. I have the shade Light Warm. This is very like liquidy and kind of like thin consistency. I think it has pretty good coverage. It's more of a medium coverage concealer and it's pretty hydrating on the under eyes as well. So we are going to pick a new one. Um, this one I didn't really use this week. I really focused on this and some of my Project Pen uh, primers. So I'm going to leave this in another week and then Project Pen stuff's in there. I did use my ABH Sultry palette this week. And the one thing I don't like about ABH formula is that the mattes have so much kickback. But the shimmers in this palette are beautiful. Definitely enjoyed this palette. And I really enjoy the palette. <laughs> Also did use my Natasha Denona Glow Powder. This is super, super pretty. Definitely enjoy this as well. And then this one is beautiful. This is a Persona Cali Glow Highlighter in Zuma. This is stunning. I was wearing this highlight in my Partners in Cream Project pan with the orange look. This makes my skin super glowy and a little bit goes a long way. Like this is super, super nice. If you're eyeing it, definitely pick it up. I didn't really use this Alamar Cosmetics Colorete Blush Blush Trio in the shade Fair Light. I just fe wasn't feeling it. I don't know. This is more like a summery kind of palette. Used this one a lot this week though. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Let's Go Nude Blush. I got this from Marshalls a while ago. And I tried looking for this shade online and I don't think they sell it anymore. So I don't know. This is like the perfect nude color for every day. 
pretty pigmented so i do enjoy that i used this a few times this week this is the natasha denona bloom blush and glow palette definitely use these a lot i didn't really reach for the cream blushes in here i do enjoy it i like the highlighter it's kind of like a peachy gold highlights pretty it's really pretty and then this blush is super nice as well as you can kind of see the shade there it's really a pretty kind of like summer spring kind of palette we're gonna put this away this nars bronzer is actually super pigmented this is i don't know what it's called but it's in the paloma shade and this bronzer is very pigmented a little bit goes a long way i didn't use that at all i haven't used it at all i think you, you can't even see that i've dug my brush in there but this is really pigmented and i like it um gotta be very light-handed with this though because it can get crazy real soon with this product and then i also did use my subculture palette by abh i did enjoy this palette and i totally forgot that you need to not be in a rush when you do your eye makeup with this palette because it can get um it's very pigmented and it also can get like skip and then get kind of patchy on the lids so you definitely have to uh take your time with this palette but overall i did enjoy it and i thought it was a nice palette to pair with my sultry since this is more colorful like jewel tone shades and then this is more like a cool tone i think it matched pretty good together so did enjoy those and those are the products that i used this past week so let's go ahead and shop my stuff so we're gonna go into my new makeup drawer we haven't we skipped this drawer last week because i just wasn't feeling it definitely want to use this palette here this is the kylie cosmetics pressed powder in it's the sort of sweet palette I was telling my friend Rania that I've really been into like neutral palettes lately. I think I just have a lot of colorful palettes and I'm kind of just mellowing down on my eyeshadow right now. So definitely want to get some use out of this palette here. It's so pretty. I think it's beautiful. I have tried the Burgundy palette by Kylie Cosmetics, but that's been a while ago. Ooh, that shadow is really pretty. So I'm going to take this one and I may pick another palette to use with this. But for right now, from the new makeup drawer, I definitely want to use that. And then I kind of wanted to use a foundation that I had in my collection. But maybe I'll just pick this since this has been in here for a few. Even though that's been in here for months and I haven't used it. I think I just swatched it and the color was a little off so I never used it. But anyways, this is the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade number 9 medium. I got this from Ulta and they had like a whole bunch of Lorac like lippies, uh, lip liners, foundation, concealer for like up to 90% off. I paid $3 and like 60 cents for this foundation here. Can you believe this is like a one fluid ounce? So this is how much product you'd get in like a regular foundation size bottle which is kind of crazy how packaging can be deceiving right so again i'm going to take this foundation for this week um i kind of opened them up to kind of be able to see the shade because obviously you can't swatch anything but the shade seemed like it would have been a good match for me so um and then i saw that it said soft focus foundation so it kind of intrigued me and for three dollars why not so i'm gonna take this foundation for the week and then I haven't even used these ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. This one looks nice. This is in Birthday Cake, so let's take this. Ooh, that's super pretty. Ooh, yes. Let's. And then, should I take another one? This one's, like, really pretty as well. This is in the shade DGAF. It's so pretty. It kind of has, like, a gold flip to it. I kind of want to swatch it, so let's let's do it. Ooh. Oh, look. It has like a gold shift to it. Ooh, that's very pretty. Wow. Okay. So let's take this single as well, and I think we should be good from in here. So for setting spray, let's go ahead and take... Hmm... Let's go ahead and take this one right here. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Prep Set and Refresh. So we can take that. I For this week, I wanted to use the Pure 4 in 1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. But since we picked the Lorac, we'll save that one for next week. So in the first drawer, we have concealer, mascara, which kind of reminded me 
that I wanted to bring in more mascaras and kind of get some use out of it instead of them like sitting in my collection and drying up. So I definitely want to use this Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. Um, my friend Stacy said it's really nice and she really enjoys it. And I told her, hey, I have two samples of that. So maybe I should put one. Whoa, this wand is huge. Uh, I'm not a big fan of huge wands just because I feel like I can't really grab my my lashes with them. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, I definitely want to try this out. I've never tried it. I found a whole bunch of singles in um, a, a drawer that I was kind of cleaning out. And I found uh, like six little mini mascaras. So... We're gonna take that. Maybe I should pick another one, huh? Let's try out this uh, Love Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara from Sephora. Let's see the wand on this. Oh, this is more of my kind of wand, like these little petite, like thinner brush wands. So we'll try it out and see what if it's not even good and I'm over here like saving it, you know what I mean? So for eyebrows, definitely want to keep using the one that I have in my project pen, but I'm just going to pick a thin one to line my brows, which is going to be this Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade number five. And then for concealer, let me use this L'Oreal one, the Infallible Full Wear concealer in the shade 360 cashmere for primer let's see what am i feeling how about how about <laughs> let's take this cover fx blurring primer sounds nice hopefully it works out super well with the soft focus primer or foundation and then for powder, let's take this one, the Pretty Vulgar Powder in the shade, um, the Powder Room in Matte About It. I got this from BoxyCharm a while ago. I really like this powder. So if you have it and you haven't tried it out, if you have like oily combo skin, this will work out super well for you. So definitely pull it out. And then bronzer here. I'm going to take this Kylie one. Um, in the shade Tanned and Gorgeous, my friend uh, Jasmine gave this to me for my birthday last year. I do find that this bronzer is kind of like more on the reddish tone side. So this will kind of be perfect for right now that it's still summertime and it kind of makes your skin look like sunburned a little bit. So I'm going to take that. I also do have my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer that's in my Project Pan. So I can definitely go like switch on and off with those bronzers. Here is my blush drawer. Let's see... I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling like the cool tone of this palette here. This is the Kaleidos Lo-Fi Dual Blusher in uh, Lo-Fi Rose. I'm kind of feeling this blush here, so I'm gonna take this, and then I think I had picked one of these and I didn't pick the other one, so let's see. Which one it is? I might have picked that one this time. Maybe it was this one. I don't remember. Let's pick this one right here. This is part of a Tarte Holiday set last year. Um, it's a Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe. It came with three of these like stackable blushes. Um, we're going to take that one as well. I'm gonna take this one. This is the Makeup Obsessions Mega Honey Highlighter. It feels more on the drier side compared to like the Persona one. This is in Mega Honey. It's really pretty though. And then I'm gonna take what about one of these Nabla highlights? Let's take this one because it's more of like a pinky highlight. This is in the shade Privilege. I really like these skin glazing ones. If you eyeing them, definitely pick one up. They're super pretty. Eyeliner. Let's take the Focalore Super Fine Liquid Eyeliner. It's just in black. I do kind of do wing liner every single day. It's kind of just what I do and then I also want to take this one by Fenty Beauty um, in the shade Spaghetti Straps 
And maybe, I don't know if I use this purple one, but I'm going to take this as well. The LA Girl in the shade Vivid. So I want to take another eyeshadow palette just because the one I have is really neutral. What if I pick this one? The Nomad by Julia's Place. I was kind of thinking like um, the this one over here, Sassy Sienna's by Dose of Colors. But I think I want to take this. This is the, again, the Nomad by Julia's Place. I think this will pair super well with the other palettes. Like I'll have kind of some warm tone shades and I have some grungy shades and then I'm, the Kylie palette's kind of like cool tone shades. So I think that'll be good. Is it too many like browns though? Like let me check. What do we think? No, I think that'll be fine, right? I think we'll be good. I'm not like completely scratching out color, you know? But I don't know. I guess I just want a little break from color. So those are all the products in this week's Shop My Stash. I thought this went kind of, it went by kind of fast, huh? Hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.